Hi, in this tutorial, we are going to study similarity and dissimilarity. So in the previous tutorials of this machine learning playlist, we have discussed what exactly is unsupervised learning. And now we have a good idea that unsupervised learning is all about finding interesting patterns in data. We have also covered clustering, what is clustering analysis in detail in the previous tutorial. And what we saw was that we can actually form clusters that have some common pattern or some similar features in them. So let's suppose I have a, a few data points, something like this. I'm just drawing some random points here. Let's suppose these are the data points that I have drawn from a data set. Now, one important thing is that this data set is not a labeled data set. And that's why it is a unsupervised learning. Now, what I try to do is I try to find out that, okay, these uh, points are similar. So I, I will just enclose them in one cluster. And then I will find out some more uh, data points which are similar to these. And I will start expanding this, this cluster like here and finally like this. So now I will I have obtained a cluster here. Now again, I will find a cluster somewhat here. Let's say this is one more cluster. And let's say we include this point also. And then finally, we have created one more cluster, something like this. And there is one more cluster which has these two points. So we know that uh, these are the clusters which have some uh, common patterns. Now, one thing about clustering is that clustering is ambiguous. So ambiguous means it is really confusing. It, it is confusing how to actually create clusters. For example, in these data points, someone could have come up with a different clusters. For example, someone could someone could have done is include this cluster in this one. And there can be some different clusters that can be formed. So it is ambiguous in nature. Now, one important thing about clustering that we have discussed is the similar similarity and dissimilarity. So if there are data points inside a cluster, so I will write data points inside a cluster. So let's suppose I have to find a cluster and there are some data points inside the cluster. So data points within a cluster, inside a cluster or within a cluster are more similar to each other, are more similar to each other than the data points in different clusters, data points in different clusters. All right, so what does what does this mean? What is this point about? So this point basically means that let's suppose I have two uh, data points. Let's consider two data points here. In this cluster, let's suppose I have two data points. You can see these two red points. Now these points in this uh, cluster are more similar to each other than a than data points which are in different clusters. So this point and this point are basically dissimilar to each other. And these two data points are similar to each other. So one thing is sure that I can use this similarity and dissimilarity to form clusters, right? So if I, I can actually try to measure, if I can measure how similar two data points are, e, uh, are with respect to each other, I can actually tell that, okay, these two points are similar to each other. So they are within a cluster. And similarly, if I have some measure, some metric to calculate dissimilarity within two different points, I can say, okay, they belong to different clusters. So basically, the, these two measures are important in building clusters. And that's what the clustering algorithms do. That's what the clustering algorithms will do. 
So in the future tutorials, we will discuss some of the clustering algorithms. One is the k-means clustering. Now in k-means clustering, we also we divide the data points in k clusters. So we will use the dissimilarity and similarity measures, basically measures or I can say metric. For example, let's say uh, we, we want to calculate the distance between two points. A and B are the two points here. So if I say that these two points are closer to each other. Now this will be an ambiguous task, right? Uh, instead, what I can do is I can say that these are closer because the distance between them is only one meter. So basically I have a measure to calculate how much closer these two points are. And that's the case with the similarity and dissimilarity. I need some measure to calculate how data points are similar to each other and dissimilar to each other. So that's the basic meaning of similarity and dissimilarity and the clustering algorithms will use the measures similarity and dissimilarity. So what are these measures? Now in clustering we have some measures that can calculate similarity and dissimilarity. First of all one important thing is uh, if you, you, you can calculate the dissimilarity, you can actually tell whether the items or the data points are similar to each other and vice versa is also true. And uh, one more important point which I forgot to discuss, which is really very important, is that we have previously discussed that if the data points, if the data points inside a cluster, if they are similar to each other, the more the similarity between the two data points within a cluster, the more they are different from data points in different clusters. This is an important point also. All right, so let's come to the measures of similarity and dissimilarity. So the question that we are arising is how can we actually figure out how much similar two data points are? Because if we will be able to do that, we can actually devise some algorithms that will be able to find out uh, the clusters, right? And then only we will be able to understand different patterns. So what are these measures? Now, some of the important measures are Euclidean distance. We will discuss Euclidean distance. Then there is Manhattan distance, Hamming distance, and Minkowski distance. Minkowski distance and these are some of the measures and basically these have formulas which will be able to calculate how much similar two points are with respect to each other. So we can use these these measures to calculate whether two points are similar or dissimilar and in this manner we can actually devise the clustering algorithms. So indeed, it is necessary that we first understand these measures because then only we will be able to devise the clustering algorithms like the k-means clustering algorithm. So first of all, I would like to define what is similarity. I will define uh, similarity or dissimilarity. I'll write it something like this. So I will give the formal definition of similarity and dissimilarity in case you will need it. So uh, similarity is defined or dissimilarity is defined as a measure between two data points, between two objects or data points. And it is a numerical measure. Basically, this measure is a numerical measure. So it is basically a number. So it is a numerical measure between two data points or objects of the degree to which of the degree to which the two objects are different or similar the two objects are similar so in case of similarity we will say the degree to which the two objects are similar in case of dissimilarity, we will say the degree to which the two objects are different, right? So this is basically the formal definition of 
similarity and dissimilarity. In the next tutorial, we will study our, uh, all these Euclidean distance, Minkowski distance. 